Hi, welcome back. Another important key session and a key change in S4 HANA. Okay, let's try to discuss today what is condition contract settlement management, which is the functionality brought by SAP in S4 HANA version as a replacement for your rebates actually. It can, uh, if you talk about sales rebate, if you talk about a deal, sales deals, if you talk about purchase rebates, okay? This is the change, okay? He brought it back in S4 HANA in different way. Why? What is the necessity to bring it back? Condition contract management or settlement management or else condition contract settlement management. You can call, people will call with different names, okay? So let's check this, okay? Please stay tuned with for this introduction. If you look at this slide, okay? Specifically, ERP rebates versus S4 HANA settlement actually, okay? Your traditional system is like this. So what exactly? What is rebate actually? Rebate is uh, so like, you know, one kind of discount based on certain target or tenure or certain purpose. Let me explain you, okay? So if you, you know discounts, discounts exactly instant in nature. For example, if you create an order, one discount apply and delivery and billing you have done. So if you're giving 10% discount, if you buy 100 quantity, it may be your quantity scale. If you buy 200 quantity, you are giving little more extra discount, 12% on your cross. That is all about discount, okay? Whereas rebate, okay? It has retroactive in nature, either, either it might be applicable for your old documents or new documents that you have already seen, Okay, let me tell you an, with an example, what exactly the bit is. So if someone is uh, new to this, I'll explain you, okay? You try to understand, if you don't know rebates, till now also no problem. In S4 HANA, you can learn this, okay? So let me take an example. You take a sales order war, and uh, what I would say, so let me take this. This one is something like OR is sales order and you take the delivery and you take the billing. In here, if you take, for example, one piece equal to 10, 10 euro is the price, okay? So someone ordered 10 quantity, 10 delivered and 10 billing, okay? So this 10 into 10 means 100, uh, so your gross. Okay, probably you are giving discount one, okay, equal to, suppose if you are giving this into uh, like uh, 10 divided by 100, so that, you know, 10 euros you have given discount, okay. So like your net is 90, 100 minus 10. For example, if you calculate a tax, okay, another 10 percent is, so maybe like don't calculate the tax, tax is 0 percent, let's assume. Okay, so, so your tax is zero percentage, so it will be zero, okay? So this is your gross, and this is your discount, and this is your tax, and this is finally your net will be 90, okay? So this is on this, like that, you know, you can give multiple sales orders, the discount and certain validity, this is what you have seen. So what is rebate actually? So I say, my distributor, I say probably like, you know, my sales for personal, I say that, you know, so the quantity per month is 1,000, okay? So 1,000 quantity if you sell it in a month. So this is for single day order. Suppose in a month or else, uh, if this is for first month, okay? For like you know, for three months, it is the target is okay for quarter, okay, for quarter, the target is three thousand quantity, okay. I may set a target like that to boost my sales, to increase my sales, okay. So what I say, uh, what I should say, 
like you know if you reach your target of 3000 quantity i'm additionally giving 2% rebate okay uh, maybe like you know 2% rebate so on every invoice okay so it will be calculated okay so like here here additionally another 2% will be calculated but when you reach 3000 quantity, then only I can able to settle down. That's what the target is all about. So if you take, so two divided by 100, okay? Another 1.8. Like when you reach like 10, 20, like that, you know, if you reach 100, 200, like the 3000 quantity within a quarter, I'll give additional discount on all these on all these invoice generation. This is called rebate, okay? So rebate, it will be like an agreement between your company and customer or else your distributor and company. It can be like, you know, it can be like an individual customer also. What is the basic difference actually, okay? A rebate. So rebate is not guaranteed. If you reach target, we have a two kind of rebates, okay? So volume-based rebate, and next one is uh, like uh, non, maybe like, you know, you can say non-target based rebate, okay? So we we have a lengthy discussion on this. If you learn this on ECC, so you better try my, one of my rebates course so that you, know, you can better learn. But let me explain you. Let me try to give my best because this is a con context about your settlement management, okay? So volume based rebate, is something like like this this example so non target based rebate means i'll put the duration like probably like dow so okay quoting if you keep uh, like you know if you keep dow soaps in first track from uh, my unilever company i'm giving fixed charge like you know per month 100 dollars okay 100 usd i'm paying for, I can pay for quarter, I can pay for six months, I can pay for year. It depends when I, as long as when I run my promotion. Okay, this is non target based. If this is volume based, non volume based, you can say that. Okay, it is basically not target based. This is target based. This much quantity you sell, or else if you, I will give you fixed also, fixed rebate also, like how you have. See, you have a different kind of percentage based, okay, and discounts. You have a quantity based. And you have a fixed actually. So in the similar way, all three kind of rebates will be there here. Okay. It, it might have different key combinations. So now you understood as a background, if you are not from ECC also, what is rebate? So, but rebate, if you check if it is volume based or quantity based or percentage based or fixed based. So if you don't reach your target, it is not guaranteed. Okay, it might be quantity, or else I can say that it might be like you know, uh, one lakh dollars USD if you reach, or euros or USD if you reach value based targets, or else quantity based targets. If you reach, then all I can give you. Okay, this is not guaranteed, but this is guaranteed. Certain times it might be on a free of cost basis also. So it can be like value add if you are if you are if you are getting discount on your products for distributor, I'll just ask them it has a value add so that it will be zero. So it might be like advertising campaign from my company side at customer place, okay, either mall or shop or else roadside, any other place uh, for advertising campaign for that matters. Okay, most of the times no one will work for free. That's I can able to tell that this is volume based render. So now you now you understood rebate. Okay, why it is got replaced? Okay, let me conclude this. So discount is guaranteed. Okay, but rebate is not guaranteed until unless if you reach target or something like that. Certain terms and conditions will be there. So it is a contract between buyer and seller. Basically, if you talk about that, you have a terms and conditions. That's what we'll call it as rebate agreement in ECC. That rebate agreement, why it is got replaced with this S4 HANA settlement, okay? If you look at this traditional system, so see, re your rebates is, uh, once your rebates is calculated, so that will be settled down through credit memo, 
okay you will have a different settlements like you know quarterly i can able to pay or else monthly i can able to pay or else every six months off yearly i can able to pay the rebate once the target is reached or else i can able to pay on a financial year okay on on the volume of the billing documents the amount will be calculated it will be separated in the form of the accruals in our G, gl account it will be reversed means it will be played Pay, paid through credit, credit memo for customers. Okay. So now if you look at this, the traditional system, you have a billing documents like VBRK, VBRP, header level and item level. This is for partner, payer partner basically. So you have a customer master K and VB. So it is going to read all these. It is a little technical. TVFK means your billing document type, okay, whether rebate is active or not. Okay. TBTA T63S for your uh, pricing related so all these tables this is the sample he has given a lot of tables you need to go and search and to decide to calculate your price once you are searching all these things all these conditions are satisfied then only it is coming here okay what is the disadvantage you have a header table and item table anyhow for settlement also it is there and customer master it is also there but here what happens additional tables go on searching so the the performance is very less, okay? So, so for all these tables, for all these tables to calculate the rebate, this is the only one index table at the database level it is available. That is called BBOX. I think if you are, if you are from EC background, you might have about this one. So this is maximum up to two terabyte SAP has given. If it is more than that, you are getting a lot of dump issues, okay? Suppose if we go for, especially retail for rebates, Huge scope manufacturing also you, depends on the product. Huge scope certain time if it is not so sufficient then it is breaking. And uh, so most of the times you will have a database log parallelly accessing for this index table. So it is breaking and breaking. Don't worry about all these things. Anyhow, if you wanted to work on ECC rebates also, you must have to go to SAP S4 HANA condition contract management. If you look at this, okay, so. Retroactive rebate documents. This is the one of the report SD Bond 06. So this is also one of the entry questions when you are working on ECC. Okay. So so repricing type is I. That means, like you know, for example, you run a promotion for a financial year. Okay. Two percent report rebate is supposed to give. First quarter January, February, March is finished. Okay. So but so these people already uh Working, billing documents got generated. April, so maybe because of logistics or documentation or else agreement regions. So per rebate agreement on system is ready on May onwards. So what about April, May? So if it is total financial year, four quarters target, if one quarter is missing, it is very difficult. So old documents also, you need to update the conditions. Okay, whatever the 2% in our example I have shown, that means that is retroactive rebate. The quality of updating, see, documents already saved for one quarter, like 100 documents. That, you don't have a rebate condition there. That's supposed to be get updated. Now, what is the new scenario for condition contract management? You need not do this one. Even you need not update it. For information, if customer is expecting, then we can able to do it. That is a different story. If you, if you don't want it, that we can able to handle with separate pricing procedure. This attack is not there retract to rebates, whatever the performance issues we are getting that you don't get in SAP S4 HANA. Okay, so let's see how it works. What is the what is the comparison difference when you compare with rebate actually? I'll make you easy. Here you will create condition contract. It has a huge definition, huge fields will be there. So, but uh, your rebate agreement has a very limited functionality. Okay. So, like the scope, how it change a rebate agreement in the place that you got a condition contract. New term and new definition for document type. Okay. So, there, like, uh, uh, so business volume means what is the business volume exactly? So, if you look at this, your sales orders, you would like to give rebate. On your purchase orders, MM side, you would like to give your rebate or else uh, maybe your delivery documents, invoices, all these kind of, uh, you know, quantity, either it may be quantity or fixed discount, on all this bunch, you would like to calculate your target amount to get settled down. That is called business volume, actually. 
okay so business volume bp views so this is got newly created so your rebate index bp ox it's not in the market okay it is gone for s4 hana okay so but still old condition type c is available why it is available let me explain you so probably like you know these condition types data if it is going to crm many other systems okay so like you know your system is a old system traditional rebates only you would like to use in such a case you cannot able to run in s4 hana core system probably some other purpose they have kept actually okay still it is available so this is called your bbox okay so let me go back okay so let me go to the this place okay let me show you maybe So previously, BP01. Now see this, you can able to see this transaction in uh, your ECC for maintaining your rebate condition type. So your BP01 is not there. Okay. Now go to SC38, SD bond 06. Okay. Let's execute this. So let's see this. It is a bit slow in this system. See, so this is the report you are using for updating your billing documents. Okay. Still, it is available, but the backend database views got changed. Like previously, you are giving something called agreement, right? Updating for your billing documents. You don't require all this stuff now. Okay. So let's check this. For this is for updating your old documents, whatever the rebate. If it is supposed to apply for your old documents, as I said that January, February, March, rebate conditions not available, and the actual promotion in system it is available from April onwards, but rebate duration is starts from January to December. So last three months documents if supposed to apply, we are using that program. It's quite frequent. Okay, so that's what it is. So if you come here, okay. So there is something called business volume, base and conditions, okay? This is for customizing. If you look at this, okay, condition contract management, so there is one program called settlement program. How you have this index and uh, other old rebate programs got vanished actually. They are using business volume determination. And uh, so see how you have a condition types and rebates. Here also we are going to define uh, the same pricing technique, but the determination for pricing is something different. So I will explain you. Don't get into that. So probably like, you know, you have a regular pricing procedure for your order delivery and billing, right? So I need not disturb the pricing procedure. Whereas if you go back to the rebates, I'm just applying. I'm just uh, adding the condition type. It is not necessary to use the same pricing procedure for that. Okay. If you go back here, okay, it's quite simple. Create a contract and calculate the see you, you contract itself you are having business volume base you are create, uh, taking okay like a sales org level or customer level how you would like to calculate it and conditions and this this is based on your customizing data source okay so finally your your settlement program will run to calculate everything and finally it will be created as settlement document here different cases will be there delta document or what exactly it is Okay, so that is so then you can able to report to your finance and you can able to send messages and output any other format. You can see this if you look at this bottom initial period, initial period, you are going to use this 
बीबीआर के बीबीआरपी ईएक्स ईके के वो दैट मींस योर परचेज हेडर एंड ईके पी वो लाइक दैट एंड आफ्टर क्लोजिंग कंसोलिडेशन विल बी दिस पार्ट सो दैट दैट मींस योर फाइनल थिंग इज लाइक यू नो हाउ यू आर जनरेटिंग सी यू आर क्रिएटिंग अ मैनुअल क्रेडिट मेमो राइट फॉर अस थ्रू बैकग्राउंड जॉब दैट वी आर नॉट गोइंग टू डू सो दैट विल बी वी विल रन वन सिंपल टी कोड इफ इट्स एट अ Uh, you know, background job. It will be created on a bunch, or else manually. Also, you can able to run. I will show you that one. Okay. So this is the initial thing. So that's it. You understood, right? Basically, like whatever the condition contract I supposed to create, it it is plus plus functionality of your prepaid agreement. Nothing else more. And your settlement document types you have in ECC, like you know. B one, B two, ah, R three, R four, like you know, some kind of documents will be there, like partial settlement and full settlement, and your delta settlement. Okay, let's try to check one by one later. So that is the basic difference. Now let's see this, how it works when it comes to process. Okay, probably we'll catch up in next session. Thank you. Have a great day.